On May 3, 2013, one-year-old Trinaya, three-year-old Thomas, and four-year-old Triana were laid to rest, their lives snuffed out by what is being called a psychotic episode caused by severe depression. And this morning, another chapter in the tragic story of 23-year-old Felicia Chen came to a close. There will be no happy ending, or indeed any happiness, for this young mother, or for any of the characters in this tale of tragedy, despair, mental illness, and death. Last week, as she pleaded guilty to three counts of manslaughter, Felicia Chen told the court that she was a victim of physical and mental abuse, forced to turn to prostitution to provide for her children. Her attorney, Leslie Mendes, said her client hallucinated and heard voices which told her to kill her children. She asked for leniency, and this morning, the court answered, sentencing Chen to eight years in prison. Um, the factors that played um, a role in the sentencing was first the judge mentioned the fact that she pleaded guilty um, to the three counts of manslaughter and had saved some, the court some time. So that, had, that has also played a role in um, minimizing the term. Uh, the other circumstances were, as I had raised and her sister had raised, was the fact that she's a victim of domestic violence, the fact that um, her mental state was impaired at the time as she has been diagnosed um, of suffering from severe depression with psychiatric symptoms. So that played um, a, f a role in the sentencing, but also in the defense when it comes to diminished responsibility. Even though her defense was based on diminished responsibility as a result of her mental state and acute depression, and even though it is acknowledged that Chen must have suffered a severe psychotic episode to take the lives of her three children, the court today ordered no further psychiatric monitoring or treatment or even counseling. The court had, hasn't mentioned it, but we would definitely monitor that. Okay. Who will monitor that? We will be ensuring that she be getting psychiatric um, treatment from a psycho psychiatrist. She has been, but it's just a bit delayed for three months. She's also um, seeing a counselor and she's also um, been getting some treatment at the prison. We would be ensuring that that is still being um, that that is still going on during the time that she's in custody, during the time that she's serving her sentence. Sorry. There has been an ongoing expression of public sentiment in the case of Felicia Chen. There has been some compassion for the young mother in light of her story of chronic abuse and diagnosed depression, despair, and diminished capacity. There has also been furious condemnation at the heinous crime which took the lives of three beautiful, innocent children. A sentence was handed down today, but was justice dispensed? Would you say that justice has been served today? Yes, I do believe that justice has been served today. Um, we are very grateful for the court in, again, showing some leniency in this type of cases. And do you believe that justice has been served in regards to the three children who were killed? I do believe that justice has been served here. While it is, to say that it's tragic is an understatement, but it is something that she lives, um, she will live forever in her mind. She will forever feel guilty as she has expressed. Um, we can't go back. We can't go back. The fourth child, then six, managed to get away and run for help. While she escaped the fate of her siblings on that terrible day in April 2013, she is reportedly still in counseling for the trauma she suffered. Mike Rodon for News 5.